اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last few sessions, I introduced Julius.ai, your data analysis companion. Now in this session, I'm going to look into some further features of the tool. Let's look at what else we can do with Julius. Now let's start a chat. Now previously, I used an Excel sheet. as my data file now in this case let's see if we can use any other format now i've got data in spss format let's see if we can use this as well so yes we can upload data in spss format let's ask some questions let's say can i view the data file let's see now here is my data so we can preview the data as well now moving on Now what we can do further is if you go to tools you can hide the code you can skip searching the internet and you can just have the plain mode as well now for now i'll keep both of these now that i've got my data let's say i am interested in finding out whether a particular variable or the perception in that variable differs between groups or not So I've got a few variables here. Let's say the perception of organizational performance, that how well the organization is performing. Does it change with the job rank or not? So I've got three job ranks here: junior, middle, and senior. And I've got a dependent continuous variable. So in this in this case, I will use one way ANOVA. Can you run one way ANOVA with OP as the dependent variable and job rank as categorical predictor present the results in detail let's see what we get Now here are our results. The p-value is insignificant. This shows that there are no differences in the perception of organizational performance across the three job ranks. And this is what we get here as well. Now let me ask if we can get a detailed write-up. Can I have a detailed write-up for my study? with results summarized in a table now here are our results we've got an objective methodology results insignificant homogeneity of variance assumption satisfied the p value is over 0.05 the conclusion and the table you can export it and format it further now creating a detailed write up with result summarized in table we've already got it now similarly you can perform other tests as well let's say i want a correlation analysis can you correlate let's say i've got in my data set let me see my data set here it is so i've got cc and op so let correlate cc and op cc with op and provide a summary right top with correlation table and scatter plot let's see what we get now here are our correlation results and the correlation coefficient is 0.555 and this means when cc increases the organizational performance increases and here is the scatter plot and if we see well it is showing an increase in cc leads to an increase in op and here is the conclusion now you can obviously further 
get more insights into this relationship by clicking on these other options or you can give your own query as well. Now this is how you can use Julius for advanced analysis like test to compare means or correlation analysis. Now moving on, let's go back here and we can have a new chat as well if you want and then we can have another data set and some more or other questions as well. And we do have a community forum as well. You can go in there and post your queries if there are any issues as well. Now let me go back to the home page here. And another thing that can or that interests me is problem solving. So you can ask your math, physics or chemistry problems as well. So let's say if your son or daughter or brother having an issue with math, physics and chemistry, you can put your questions here in the same chat box with the data set or without the data set. And this is an example as well provided on the website. So we've done this in advanced analysis. We've looked into different insights and we have asked Julius to report the results for us as well.